on this Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We are asking questions about the efforts to preserve his dream of peace and equality here in the Miami Valley. Dr. King, of course, is part of a display at the Dayton Peace Museum. And tonight, Jordan Burgess is asking about the changes aimed at attracting more visitors there. In less than two weeks, the Peace Museum will look a lot different than it has in the past. And we got a first look at the work being done and what it will mean for the museum's future. An effort to bring peace by making a lot of noise. There's no one way to do peace. The instruments are part of one of the new exhibits debuting soon at the Dayton International Peace Museum. We wanted to know what's behind the changes. What's your vision for the Peace Museum here? I think the vision here is to create and continue to create a space for peace where people coming from many different points of view can reflect on the idea what does a more peaceful world look like? One exhibit will cover the Peace Corps and its 54 years of existence. Another new area being worked on called Peace Station 208 will give people a chance to find their own peace. To have a little chocolate, to have some coffee, and to talk with other people, connect with other people about peace and, and social justice. The changes are bringing the 1865 Dayton home where the museum is located into the 21st century. Multi-purpose space where we can use smart TVs and have live music and poetry slams and engage particularly young people and college people, but all of us in a 21st century technology of peace. But high tech can make for high cost. So we asked about the museum's budget going forward. How do things look now in the future uh, financially? We survive because individuals believe what we're doing matters. And so those gifts just keep coming in. And the Peace Museum is looking at a way to promote peace in Miami Valley neighborhoods. It plans to have an exhibit on that sometime this fall. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.